The Little Red Elf. Once upon a time, there was a reindeer, a penguin, a hare, and a little red elf. They all lived together in a comfy, cozy workshop. The reindeer liked to snooze in the straw. The penguin liked to relax in the bathtub. The hare liked to hibernate by the hearth. That left the little red elf to get all the workshop work done. She swept the sawdust and boxed the bulbs. She organized the tools. She stirred the paint and untangled the lights. She shoveled the path and checked the mail and polished the sleigh. Phew. She's tired after doing all that work by herself. One day, while she was filling the bird feeders, she came upon some pine cones. Who will help me plant these pine cones? Asked the little red elf. Not I, said the reindeer. Not I, said the penguin. Did someone say something? Mumbled the hare. Then I will," said the little red elf, and she did. Soon, a little pine tree began to push through the ground. Who will help me water the pine tree? Chirped the little red elf. Not I," said the reindeer. No thanks," said the penguin. <sighs> Snored the hare. Not a problem. I'll do it myself," said the little red elf. Each morning, the little red elf watered the pine tree. She was delighted to see it grow straight and tall. Finally, the pine tree was ready. The little red elf asked her friends, "Who will help me bring the tree into the workshop?" "Not I," said the reindeer. "Blub blub," squirted the penguin. <sighs> Snored the hare. Well, I love being busy," said the little red hare with the most positive of attitudes. The little red elf got her shovel and dug and dug and dug. She lifted the tree into a bucket and carefully brought it into the workshop. When the tree was positioned just the right way, the little red elf asked, "Who will help me string the lights on the tree?" "Not I," said the reindeer. "What's with all the questions?" said the penguin. Ten more minutes," grumbled the hare. "Then I'll handle it," said the little red elf. After the lights were up, the little red elf grew tired. I don't suppose there's anyone here who might assist me in putting ornaments on the tree," she begged. "Not I," said the reindeer. "They float, don't they?" said the penguin. "Who's there?" said the hare. The little red elf took a deep breath. That's okay. I can do this," she exclaimed. Soon the workshop began to glow and sparkle. "Ooh," said the reindeer. "Ah," said the penguin. "You missed a spot," said the hare with one eye open. Now that I have your attention, the little red elf said with a smile, "Who will help me put out the milk and cookies?" 
Not I," said the reindeer. "Why bother saying yes now?" said the penguin. "I'm allergic," said the hare. "No big deal," said the little red elf. The next morning. Piles and piles of presents sat under the tree. Everyone was up very early for a change. The little red elf raised an eyebrow, though her voice was as sweet as ever. Who will help me open the presents? I will," said the reindeer. "I will," yelled the penguin. "I want the big one!" screamed the hare. With that, the little red elf put her hands out and shouted, "Stop!" I planted the tree. I watered the tree. I brought the tree to the workshop. I strung lights. I decorated the tree. I put out the milk and cookies. Now I'm going to open all the presents myself. The reindeer. The penguin and the hare stood very still. They were shocked. Then they began to cry. The little red elf put her hands down. "Oh, please don't cry," she said. "I'm sorry. Of course you can open the presents." The reindeer, the penguin, and the hare dove into the gifts. Paper and ribbon flew through the air. What did you get? Asked the little red elf. Ah, the perfect gifts for you! Thank you, Santa," she said. They got a pile of little red hens. The little red elf wants her friends to learn the lesson from the little red hen story, that you need to work hard to get what you want, and the importance of helping one another.